Good morning to you on this Saturday morning. We continue our consideration of Proverbs chapter 21. Today we read starting from verse 4. Haughty eyes and a proud heart. The lamp of the wicked is sin. The plans of the diligent lead surely to advantage. But everyone who is hasty comes surely to poverty. The acquisition of treasures by a lying tongue is a fleeting vapor, the pursuit of death. The violence of the wicked will drag them away because they refuse to act with justice. The way of a guilty man is crooked, but as for the pure, his conduct is upright. Haughty eyes, a proud heart, the lamp of the wicked is sin. If there's anything that distances us from God, it's pride. Haughty eyes, a proud heart, leads you away from God. The one who exalts himself will be humbled, but he who humbles himself will be exalted. We need to always choose the path of humility, because that's the path of blessing. We need to humble ourselves to realize that any good that we may do at any time is not because of us, it's God working through us. So to him belongs all the glory, the honor, and the praise. The plans of the diligent lead surely to advantage, but everyone who is hasty comes surely to poverty. Remember, the devil is always in a hurry. God is never in a hurry because he knows the end from the beginning. He has the timing perfect. The devil's always saying, do this, do this, do this. And you run into trouble. Because see, he wants you to hurry into things. He doesn't want you to think about the consequences. Take it easy. Go slowly and you will reach the destination. Make plans in conjunction with God. Listen to him. Follow his advice. The acquisition of treasures by lying tongue is a fleeting vapor, the pursuit of death. If we lie and cheat and steal, it's not going to last. You'll lose it all, and it leads to death. The right way is to always be truthful and honest. The violence of the wicked will drag them away because they refuse to act with justice. God's justice will come upon those who are wicked. And I love this last verse. The way of a guilty man is crooked, but as for the pure, his conduct is upright. Some other translations say, as for the pure, his road, his path is straight. The crooked path is this way and that way. You're lying, you're cheating, you're weaving your way in and out through different circumstances. But the way of the righteous is a straight path. You head towards the goal. As the Apostle Paul said, I press onwards towards the goal. So let's stay on the right path. Let's be humble. Let's give God thanks for everything. Lord God, Heavenly Father, as we begin this new day, we bless you and thank you. We praise you and worship you. We thank you for the wisdom of Solomon. We thank you for these words that show us the right and the straight path. Lord, we humble ourselves before you and we give you all the glory, the honor and the praise. Any good that we may do, any good that may come from us, ultimately comes from you. So to you be the glory, the honor and the praise. We humble ourselves before you and realize, Lord, that we are totally dependent upon you. And we thank you that you are our loving Heavenly Father, who graciously provides for us, for every one of our needs. The greatest need was the need for forgiveness of sin and salvation. And you provided that for us through Jesus. So we thank you, Lord Jesus. We bless you and praise you. We thank you also for the gift of the Holy Spirit, who leads and guides us, who speaks through your word who keeps us on the straight path. Lord, help us today. We pray for the sick. There are many around us who are ill. We pray that you would place your healing hand upon them. We pray for those who are sick in spirit, for those who are down, for those who have no hope, who see no future. Lord, have mercy. We pray for the souls that do not know you yet. Lord, that they would taste and see that you are good. We pray for our leaders, we pray, Lord, that you would give them wisdom and help them to make right decisions. As we are coming out of lockdown here in Sydney, Lord, we pray that you would just continue to help us to fight this 
virus and to get things back on even keel again. We thank you, Lord, for the lessons that we have learnt in this time, and we pray that you would help us as we go forward. We commit all to you, knowing that you are above all things and nothing happens to us outside of your knowledge, and that all things work together for good to those who love you, who are called according to your purposes. Lord, we bless you, and we pray now that you would hear as we join together in praying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, now and forever. Amen. So my friends, have a blessed day. God be with you. God willing, I'll see you for tomorrow's service here on YouTube.